what the hell is bubble tea? And I think a lot of people have been asking the same thing. What the hell is bubble tea? So I keep coming out with the intention of doing some videos um, and some photos for Halloween with all the Halloween stuff that I expect to be out and about. And to be honest with you, there hasn't been an awful lot about. Well, I haven't seen an awful lot anyway. Not like normal. Now, there is some very nice stuff for Remembrance, as you can see behind me, it lets me forget. Um, on the church, on the gate going into the church, which is really nice. And there's a few other bits of poppy stuff around. Some of the places get behind Halloween, but not everywhere as I thought they would do. So I may not be showing as many Halloween pictures as I would normally show. This shop has a duck in the window. The duck's always there. It's always got a rubber duck for some reason. I don't know why they've got a black rubber duck in a wheelchair shop, but it's now been halloween um, I said the rest of the week they haven't done anything, so people are leaving it a bit late, maybe. And also, in one of my recent videos, I did say to you about the defibrillator boxes. So it has got an ordinary telephone box next to it as well, in red. A very dark red, it hasn't been painted for a while. And then it's got the defibrillator in the yellow phone box, so that's what I was saying when I went and did the video with Simon about his place and the fact that they've got um, a lot of these places are turning telephone boxes into defibrillators and there's no phone boxes around. It's funny how you don't see any of those aluminium. You know, remember the BT phone boxes, the aluminium ones, which are like the very straight sides. You don't see any of them anymore, or the phone card ones. Now, of course, a lot of the whether or not you see Halloween stuff is depending on where you are. Um, the town you're in or the place you're in. Now, this one normally is very good. At the moment, they've done a lot of stuff for the poppies, which is nice. And in past years, they've done a lot of stuff for Halloween as well. So um, I'm a bit surprised there's not as much as normal, although there is still some. Um, this one thing about this town where I'm at the moment, there's a lot of nail bars. There's you know, every few steps, there's probably about six nail bars, I think, in total in this one street, uh, which is fine if that's what you want. I mean, they do. You know, if you want your nails done professionally, it's fine. I do sometimes find them quite expensive. One of my colleagues at work just had those done and they were 30 quid for just black with a bit of gold. And I do know you can do it yourself. You can buy a pack, there's a pack. I'll leave a link down below to a company called Divine Beauty. They do the things, the packs you can buy yourself, do yourself, fit your own ones. So they're way better. In fact, they're probably half the price or less and you're doing it yourself. So um, yeah, if, if you've got the time and the patience to do it, I'm sure she could do them for you if you wanted to, but for the time and the patience for the money, why not buy them online? So I've been asking myself a question recently. Well, I say recently, I have asked myself a question in the past. What the hell is bubble tea? And I think a lot of people have been asking the same thing. What the hell is bubble tea? It's Korean, it's been around for quite a long time. I think late 80s, late 90s. Um, we just haven't been using it over here. It's become popular recently, a while ago, and now it's coming down to where I live. A couple of places around here and a new place has just opened. This place behind me is called Bubba Tiger's Bubble Tea. They do bubble tea, noodles and cakes. As I said, I've never had a bubble tea before, so I'm going to go in and find out exactly what is bubble tea and what's it all about. Is it any good? It says that bubble tea is made of tabioca. Now, tabioca to me is disgusting. I used to hate having tabioca as a kid because my mum had it as a pudding. It goes along with sort of like rice pudding, semolina and tabioca and it was disgusting stuff. I never liked it, but it's probably very nice and that's what these bubbles are made of. So I'm going to try one and yeah, especially flavoured and like bubbly stuff. So I'll try. Okay, so I'm looking very pink, drinking in a pink bubble tea shop. It does sell noodles, it sells cakes. Unfortunately, cakes aren't available just yet, but they will be. But actually, surprisingly nice. Can you call it? 
bubbles are like chewy, like a Harry Bow in a drink, sort of. But it's actually quite nice. This is mango matcha, which is really nice. Warm, not cold. They do do cold drinks. They do fruit flavoured drink, creamy frappes, and they do milk teas, which is like a milkshake. They've even got a full sized phone box in here, inside, full of flowers and pink stuff, which is quite cool, to be fair. Very nice. The funny thing is, it's literally just across the road from a Costa. So you've got a massive Costa on one side and then bubble tea the other side. So to be perfectly fair, it's not too bad. Price-wise, it's probably about the same as an expensive milkshake if you had a posh milkshake somewhere. So um, it's just different. I won't be doing it often because it's a strange warm feeling with bubbles, but it's not too bad. And I think I probably would do it again at some point, but not in a hurry. I'm not going to rush to it like I do an ordinary McDonald's milkshake, something like that. But then again, I don't do that as often as I can because they never bloody work. Mm -hmm.